Hello everyone. So in this lab exercise, we are going to design and implement hybrid networking in Azure. Within this lab, we are going to create and configure Azure Virtual Network Gateway, which is necessary step to create this connectivity between your on-prem and Azure site. And we are going to create Azure Virtual WAN using Azure Portal as well. So you're going to see two types of hybrid networking connection in this lab. I hope you find it useful. Let's go and do that. The first exercise we are going to do is to go and create and configure a virtual network gateway. Our sample environment looks something like this. The first step is we are going to create these two VNets, core services VNet and manufacturing VNet. And we're going to create two VMs and we're going to place two VMs in both of these subnets. So to create our first task, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a JSON file or a ARM template to create these core services VNet and the manufacturing VNet. So if you want to understand how to create it using GUI or this graphical user interface, I have created another video which talks about basic understanding about how you can create these virtual networks and subnets using Azure portal. Uh, let's go to our resource group. Let me quickly show you. We have a resource group called resource group one. It's an empty resource group. I don't have any resource at the moment. So let us deploy this ARM template. All right. So it looks like our resources required for us to start the exercise has been created. Let me go back to resource group, quickly minimize this window and refresh. Yep, we can see that there is a new resource group created called Contuso resource group. And as you can see that all three virtual networks, which is required for us to do this exercise to create the virtual network gateway is being created. And all three VNets are in different locations. One is in East US, another one West Europe, another one is Southeast Asia. Now that we have created this core services VNet and manufacturing VNet, Let's go create a core services virtual machine and a manufacturing virtual machine. So I'm going to again execute a command which is going to deploy two virtual machines in both of these VNets. All right. So first let's create a virtual machine in the core services VNet. And next I'm going to create another virtual machine in the manufacturing VNet. Go back to the Azure portal and click on refresh. So our core services virtual machine is created. You can see that the status is changed from creating to running and we are waiting for one more virtual machine to be created here that is in the manufacturing group these steps are not the main step which i want to show you in this lab these are all the steps which i need to complete before showing you how to create a virtual network gateway so that you you know how to implement those ideally when we try to connect the virtual machine from one vnet to another one it should fail because there is no uh, VNet peering or gateway transit in between. So then what we're going to do is we're going to create a virtual network gateway and we're going to enable or establish the connection so that the virtual machine in the core services VNet will be able to communicate to any virtual machine in the manufacturing VNet. All right. So now we have both of our virtual machine in running state. Now let's log in to both of these virtual machine. First go to the core services virtual machine. Click on connect and click on RDP. Make sure you choose the public IP address to connect. Download the RDP file and click on open connect and provide the username and password and hit OK. Click yes. Let's give it some time so that we can select yes for to accept the network settings, things like that. So say yes to accept the networking. So I'm going to minimize it. I'm going to do the same thing to the manufacturing virtual machine. So let's go back to the virtual machine. Click on manufacturing virtual machine, connect RDP, download RDP file and open the manufacturing VM RDP. Click connect, provide the username and the password. Click OK. Yes. And let's wait for this machine to boot up. All right. Accept the network and uh, let's minimize this window and open both of these virtual machines side by side. So it is easier for us to navigate. All right, so on the left hand side, we have the core services virtual machine and on the right hand side, we have the manufacturing virtual machine. So I'm going to open the PowerShell on both of these virtual machine and I'm going to type in IP config. The IP address of the core services VM is 10.20.20.4 .20 .20 
and the manufacturing VM is 10.30.10.4. Now let's see from the manufacturing VM we are able to connect to the core services VM. So I'm going to execute a command called test dash net connection the IP address of the core service VM and using port 3389 and I'm going to run that command and let's execute that command. So it is waiting for the response. It shouldn't be able to connect because there is no peering or gateway transit between these two networks. So the connection should fail or we should get a timeout status. We get a message stating that TCP connection to the VM is failed. Now let us go and create the core services VNet gateway. That's the main task. So first let's go back to the Azure portal. On the global search box, type in virtual network gateway. So select the virtual network gateways. As you can see, we don't have any at the moment. So click on create, select the subscription. Um, so the resource group can be only selected when we select the network. So we can come back to that later. Under name, give a name for the instance. I'm going to call it as core services VNet gateway. And our VNet is anyway in East US. So let me quickly check the diagram. Our core services VNet is in East US and the manufacturing VNet is in West Europe. Under gateway type, make sure you select VPN because we are trying to create a VPN here. Under VPN type, select route based, not the policy based. Under SKU, so there are different types of VPN plans. We are gonna, for the lab, we are gonna keep it as VPN gateway one. Under generation, I'm gonna keep it generation one. And this is where you will pick the virtual network. So I'm gonna select core services VNet. So if you scroll down, you will be able to find the core services VNet. Gateway subnet is automatically selected because when we created these VNets, we created the gateway subnets already. Under the public IP address type, I'm going to keep it basic. And under public IP address, click on create new and give a name for your public IP address. So I'm going to call it as core services gateway dash IP. So I know that this IP belong to the gateway public IP address. And I'm going to keep the rest of the values to the default, like enable active active mode. I'm going to keep it default and BGP also. I'm going to keep it default, which is disabled. So now I can go ahead and create it's going to go through a validation and we're going to click on create. All right. So this process is going to take 45 minutes to complete minimum 45 minutes to complete. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and create the manufacturing VNet gateway now, and then we will come back to this. So right now it is creating the gateway on the core services VNet. So let's go back to home. Let's click on virtual network gateways. As you can see right now, we don't have any because the other one is creating. So I'm going to click on create one more subscription. I'm going to call the instance this time. It is manufacturing VNet gateway. And we know that manufacturing VNet is based out in West Europe. It's not in East Europe. So, so I'm going to select the region as West Europe. So select the region and change it to West Europe. It's pretty much the same like what we did last time. Select the, select the gateway type as VPN, VPN type as route based, SKU I'm going to change it to VPN gateway 1, generation we are going to retain generation 1, virtual network because we selected the right region it automatically showing us there is a VNet available do you want to associate that so I'm going to pick the manufacturing VNet and there is already a subnet available within the VNet so I can quickly show go and show you. So let me quickly show you these virtual networks and the gateways which I'm talking about. So it is all placed under Condensor group. If you look at all the resources, let's pick the core services VNet. On the left hand side under settings, you can check the address space. So you can see that it is 10.20. And if you go to subnets, you can see how many subnets which is part of this. So for the gateways, we are always using the gateway subnet. So the address range is correct. Change the public IP address type to basic. Like we don't want standard in this exercise. Public IP, I'm gonna create a new and I'm gonna call the public IP address manufacturing VNet gateway IP. Rest all the values are default. So I'm gonna click on review and create. After the validation, click on 
create all right so this is also going to take another 45 to 50 minutes so i'm going to pause the video we will come back later after these two virtual network gateways has been completed all right so that's a great news so so both of our virtual network gateways has been deployed so we can click on go to resource to go directly to the virtual network gateway so this is the first gateway which is for the core services vnet now let's use this to connect to the manufacturing vnet so to connect to another vnet this is the important step so find the gateway which you want to connect to under settings click on connections so we don't have any connections at the moment so what we have what we are going to do right now is to add a new connection so click on add first provide a name so i'm going to call it as core services gateway to manufacturing gateway connection type as vnet to vnet so we have three different types vnet to vnet site to site and express route so i'm going to select vnet to vnet then the first virtual network gateway type as we're going to keep it as our current gateway itself that is the core services vnet and the secondary vnet is what we are going to choose so we're going to choose our secondary gateway as the manufacturing vnet gateway so provide a shared key so i'm going to call it as abc123 leave the rest of the default as it is because we are not doing any advanced testing so i'm going to leave the use azure private ip address and enable bgp unchecked under ieek protocol select ieek version 2 subscription there is no change resource group there is no change and location it is currently east us so click on ok so we are creating a new connection from the core services vnet to the manufacturing vnet now we have to do the same thing on the other vnet as well so i'm going to go back to my azure home page i'm going to go to my resource group contoso resource group this is where all of our resources are placed so let's sort by type so we're going to select the virtual network gateway for manufacturing so i'm going to scroll yeah so i can see that there is manufacturing vnet gateway again we are going to follow the same steps under settings click on connections we don't have any connections yet so click on add give a name so this time i'm going to call it as manufacturing gateway to core services gateway connection type as vnet to vnet first gateway is our existing gateway and secondary gateway is the core services vnet gateway and the shared key what we have given is abc123 so i'm going to give the same here as well rest i'm going to rest all the values i'm going to keep it as default and click okay to create the connection so let's wait for both of these connection to establish then we are going to verify the connections so one connection is been established so we are waiting for another connection to be established as well all right so both of these connections are established so let's go back to our gateway close this window you can see that the core services gateway to manufacturing is connected and the manufacturing to core is unknown so maybe a quick refresh will help to update the status so i'm going to quickly refresh so let me quickly refresh the whole page itself all right it's still showing unknown so let me go back to the other vnet core services connections okay it's still showing unknown so we we will wait for another couple more minutes let's refresh one more time yep so both of the status of these two gateways are connected so now we can go and test the connection between the virtual machines so i'm going to launch the virtual machine one more time so under the manufacturing vm last time when we try to connect we got the connection timeout and the failed message so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to test the connection one more time so let's try to ping the virtual machine which is our core services virtual machine yes this time we are able to connect to the virtual machine all right so congratulations you have configured a vnet to vnet connection by using the azure virtual network gateway so one of the main task what we have learned in this exercise is creating the gateway and making sure that we learn how to connect these two gateways together so that the resources like virtual machines or other resources can communicate between these virtual network so one way to communicate is the vnet peering another one is to use vnet gateways this is applicable to on prem as well now that we have learned about how to create a virtual network gateway and establish a connection in this exercise we are going to learn how to create a virtual wan 
using azure portal so these are all the main tasks we are going to perform in this exercise we are going to create a virtual van we're going to create a hub by using azure portal then connect a vnet to the virtual hub and and towards the end we will clean up all the resources what we created for this exercise so let's go and do that so to create a virtual van go to the global search box and type in virtual van and select that we don't have any virtual vans so let's go and click on create a new virtual van so i'm going to select a existing resource group what we have we are going to use the contoso resource group we used for creating the virtual network gateway and i'm going to retain the east us as the resource group location and give a name for your virtual van so i'm going to call it as contoso virtual van under type you have basic and standard i'm going to select standard and click on review and create click on create all right so our virtual van is created click on go to resource so we will come back to this page later the next is we need to create a hub a hub contains gateway for site to site express route or point to site connectivity and it can take up to 30 minutes to create the site to site vpn gateway in the virtual hub to create a hub go to a virtual van so right now we created this contoso virtual virtual van on the left hand side under connectivity click on hubs so we don't have any hub at the moment so click on new hub so subscription and resource group is by default chosen because that is coming over from the virtual van itself region i'm going to pick as west us give a name for your hub i'm going to call it as contoso virtual van hub west us and give a private address space for your hub as well so i'm going to give 10.60.0.0/24 so next click on site to site the question here is do you want to create a site to site vpn gateway select yes as number is autonomous system number so this cannot be edited so under gateway scale units select one scale unit to 500 mbps into two routing preference there is microsoft network and internet i'm going to keep it microsoft network itself and we are not going to look into point to site or express route at the moment so click on review and create so this is going to take uh, after validation this is going to this process of creating a hub is going to take at least 30 to 40 minutes so i'm going to pause the video and we will come back to this later after completing this step perfect so after 35 minutes our deployment is been successfully completed on the virtual hub so click on go to resource so this is our virtual hub go to your virtual van on the left hand side under connectivity click on virtual network connections so here click on add connection provide a connection name i'm going to call it as contoso virtual van to research vnet under hubs select the hub which just now created no changes to the subscription and under resource group select the contoso resource group under virtual network select research vnet propagate to none select yes associate route table select default and click on create so right now what it is doing is creating a pairing between the contoso virtual van and your research vnet this is another way you can create a connection between these two vnets all right so we successfully added pairing i'm going to go back to the main page and hit on refresh all right so now we have established a connection between this virtual van and the research vnet and the connection type is successful and the connection status is connected so congratulations now you have learned how to create a virtual van and a virtual van hub and connect to the research vnet to the hub so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to delete all the resources what we just created so that it is not going to exhaust any cost in my subscription so thank you so much for watching and i hope the information provided in this video is helpful so to delete all the resources within the contoso resource group i'm going to use a command hyphen force as job so that this command execute asynchronously and it is going to remove everything within that subscription